In this video, we will look at how to add a file using Moodle 2.0. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on, either by clicking the button in the top right, or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. Under the Add a Resource drop-down menu in one of the topic boxes shown down the middle, choose File. Put a descriptive name for your file. This is what students will see on the course page. Put a file description. This can be seen when viewing a list of all the resources in the course. In the content area, you are reminded of what the file size limit is. This is per file, not a course total. Click Add. If you know that the file is already somewhere on the server and you can remember where and find your way to it, click on Server Files. This can take a bit of hunting, however. The easiest method for putting files onto your course is to upload them directly. Choose Upload a File. Click Browse to look for the file on your computer. Find your file, select it and click Open. The rest of the settings can be happily left as they are, so click on Upload this file. You may need to wait for a moment while the file is uploaded. Your file is now listed in the content area. There are further options that can be changed, such as how the file is displayed. However, these can all be left as they are but I will explain some of them for you. Embed means that the file is displayed within the page below the navigation bar, together with the file description and any blocks. Force Download will prompt the user to download the file. Open will display the file in the browser window. In Pop-up means the file is displayed in a new browser window without menus or address bar. There may be further options enabled on your site. In frame means the file is displayed within a frame below the navigation bar and the file description. New window displays the file in a new browser window with an address bar. Everything else can be left as the default settings. However, you can click on the show advanced button and depending on which display format you have chosen, this will let you set further options. Such as the width and height of your pop-up window, whether the resource name and description is displayed, and whether you use any filters on the file content. Click on Save and Return to Course to see how your file is displayed in your course. If you would like to change the name, description, opening behaviour or even update the file itself, click on the update icon. You can delete the old version of the file and upload a new one. Clicking on the menu icon next to the file gives you the option to delete. Then you simply click Add and upload a the new version of the file and click on Save and Return to Course button to save your changes. 